Okay, um, one of the examples that was talked about in the presentations was the Matthias versus Master Monaco case um, on, on implants and um, we're handling a few hip implant cases now for patients and um, the, one of the problems we're seeing is you know not all the alternatives were, were adequately discussed with patients and not all the possible consequences were adequately discussed with patients on some of these and we're seeing a problem with these metal on metal hip implants um, where some of them are loose, some of them are failing early, some of the, uh, the hinges in them are failing early, the ball, the ball rotators and things like that. They're locking up. Yeah, what kind of li liability is that? Products liability, exactly, yeah. Now, these are hip implants, you know, that ma mainly older people like myself would be getting, you know, and, and they're supposed to be lasting on the average of about 15 years when you get this surgery done, and it's major surgery, you know. So, and what, what's happening is some of these are failing after just a couple of years, two to four years, some of them are failing or locking up. You know, people will be walking, they'll lock up and they'll fall down. Some of them, the metal is, is loosening up, so the metal's striking on metal and they're made out of uh, different heavy metals like cobalt and chromium and things like that and those are the scrapings are leaving um, heavy metal ions yeah in, in the blood system so you get a blood test done and it shows these you know elevated levels of cobalt and chromium and a lot of a lot of these patients are you know they're suffering from fatigue and um, pain and you know fevers and just general malaise and, and all of these side effects and, and a lot of them think it's because of the heavy metals because there is metal toxicity um, caused by some of these heavy metals. So we think maybe it's related to, to some of the defective hip implants. 